tomorrow in Mabuya Lenya. Let me get the Girls Tap Talk Show where I engage young women on issues to do with elections. Remember, we are a few days before the election day, and I'm here to encourage young people to go out and vote on the 23rd. I'm not just talking to young people, but I'm talking to everyone who is registered to vote. Make sure your voice is heard. Make sure you also participate in knowing who's going to be uh, speaking for us a parliament. Oh, can't say that we're weird in fame because people keep saying, Oh, can't say that we're weird in fame. So, move on. Oh, that we're in fame is it? But well, I have other young women who are going to uh, help me un understand. Oh, goody, goody, ni esinga wenza. Oh, goody, make sure on the twenty third, abantu ba ham ba ba evota. Abaza shelu. Goody, what's the mood out there? So I'll let them introduce themselves before we delve into this conversation. But don't forget, my name is Megazela Mkoni. I will be your host today. Over to you. May you introduce yourself. Thank you, Vege. Uh, my name is Providence Moyo. I'm from Gobulawa. Uh, hi, Vege. Hi, everyone. I'm Skonzen Lo from Choloju. Hello, Vege. Thank you for having me. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Sandra Gama. I work with the Girls' Tape as a Programs Officer. I'm also a Human Rights Defender and a registered voter. <laughs> I've been telling people when you are introducing yourself to me, you are a registered voter. You tell me that you are a registered voter. You must stand up and ask that you are a voter on the 23rd. You are a voter. I just want to find out from you ladies, as young people, you interact with your friends out there. What's the mood? Are people ready for the day? In Amalanga, on a Lama Lituana, I say, you sing a lot. I look at it, you do, and get young people, registered voters, to cast their vote on the 20th. Okay, Vega. I uh, mean, as I interact with the young women, uh, I can say, what I want to have a cigar fee, Google that mood to eating a galay, or what I want to have a voter. I want to have a Especially among young women, among Kazana, you find out to Guti Avandu Avagafi Gumuju and Alani Guti. I've definitely decided to go and vote. Yes, Avandu Barrage is still a part of Avagafi Gumuju Guti. I would definitely go and vote. Because Avandu Bane, Mango Kalava Gutel would ah, Minazi, even ama candidate with. As it was, I want to tell you that ah, we will be calling the parliament to be So it's just, the abantu to be fun. We will be ilang alibuye, lishule. It's just, get a little angry. We will tell the abantu about where we are going. That's what I was saying. You could look at the money you want to Sometimes young people not voting is also a statement to say no one deserves my vote. Like what you say, we would yes, send registered. But no one deserves my vote, and as a result of that, shall I pass? But I won't stop encouraging a young person, a registered voter, Puma Uye voter. Uh, it's unfortunate if you don't know your candidate, Mbuza Figa, or vote based on a political party or looking at someone and be like, this name is familiar or low young cousin. Let's see how it's concerned. What's the mood? Are uh, people uh, showing excitement? You know, it's less than a week uh, before we cast our vote and we are ready. Okay, it's na echolo chongale. Ah, I'm not sure what I want to exercise about my vote. Cause the akula I want to wango mama veli abaku excited. Cause the na bono um cancel or okay si amaz but si anye ingi si amaz ganga ako. Cause the na sa change from going in versus going in. So lo cancel or kona veli aska bi maz guti singa vote la umto ba no monto kumbenjani. And then as for my MPs, my MPs are very good. I was like, 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 so what is the problem when you vote? What is your mother's going to do? And yes, we was going to do some vote. In the end, I was like, I was like, I'm born with you. I'm not going to worry. I was like, 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 People keep saying Gulama elections are Gulamiagazo, and I understand what you're saying. And the issue of delimitation again, which we have was the Nugu at 14. 
au was lo ukuthi suku ward 15 mithola ukuthi wena usabamba ukukhansela ka ward 14 phandi usuku ward 15 but i've been reading about the girls table and i believe in the girls table ndike la yenza ama initiatives to get uh, young people to go and vote to register to vote i want to understand ukuthi bakhuluma ngokuthi bona they are not sure what are you guys doing as an organization to reach out to young people to encourage young people to go and vote and as an organization what do you think do you think young people are ready for uh, 23 august or we still have a long way to go although she selling two days or three days like i said we don't mind with seeing a lali city door to door getting these young people to go and vote on the 23rd Ah, okay, Brigitte, thanks. Um, in a way, I agree with what they are saying and about what you mood vele out there. I change it it's less than a week to go for my elections. Um, even though I'm a campaign, but on the ground, I love that vibe. Yes, you really we are so excited to go lose your vote. There is yes, about to select you. Which here and there we are planning. I'm too excited, and but the general mood. It's like we still have months to go before we go to my elections. Like as they are saying, what when you compare with other previous elections, and if we compare with 2018. By now vele because we can what is says she say what is am I election says pose lanti so you find what also the challenge with this year there have been so many court cases which maybe have, could have played a part and in the mode koko timbicha na mbicha na laba sebe ambe koti so kutuwa gaba kichwe gupa lord pepa omye la oti ilami mfungu ngeena omye oti minanga pata la three bank transfer ibi zola mali kwa kiana in a way it causes people to be disenfranchised and already we are dealing with the population ya mantu abanjani abavelebele vota apathi who feel like ama elections for them it's a waste of time and but as the girls table we believe what ama elections they play a very critical part in a democracy so we encourage everyone especially young people young women ukuthi no matter the mood on the ground voting is a human right so let's go out there and exercise this right and because by voting we are choosing ukuthi these are the issues that matter to us and So whoever we choose la pana to represent us whether we say parliament or council we are saying with law umuntu simkete ngoba whatever they stand for is what we believe in so by not voting si sala vele se si ngakhanya ukuthi okay so what do we want as young people so as young people we need to have our voices heard ukuthi yes ama elections abuyile na mpabazi present ile bathi bafumba ama MPs ethu tina we choose uzibane because we believe ukuthi engakwanisa ukuthi ayo simela and expressing ama concerns ethu because it's like not everyone can manage ukuthi ati reach all the offices ukuthi athi ukuthi hayi mina am affected by service delivery am affected by any situation in our hospitals so we need to choose people that we know ukuthi they will go and represent what those issues for us so as the girls tap what have we been doing to encourage people to go out there uh, we work with young women from different communities uh, for example slow schools and upper slow providence uh, some of the things that we have done uh, we have our information hubs that were created by the young women in those hubs they share information encouraging one another ukuthi why is it important for us as young people to go out there and vote and because young people bagcwele kubo whatsapp lapha and but the information that they share many times it has nothing to do with in ama electoral processes so we decided that okay let's go there kwa hapo kwatsa kwethe abatholakala khona and see what engage with them because you find what if you call the call a town hall meeting it's very few young people who attend but whatsapp hayi bagcwele tiktok bagcwela and so those are the strategies that we've been using we've also 
done ama road shows, if ama radio shows, if talk shows as well. Uh, we've implemented quite a number of strategies to try to get the mood going. We even have the girls who vote campaign and to encourage what young women would. It's fashionable to be a voter. So we are saying let's be girls who vote. Thank you so much, Sandra. I'm happy the girls' table will never give up on young people. They are saying no matter what, sit abanda bacha sugumani li vote. Ute girls who vote. Campaign. Nancy T. Shet your corner. Sit your vote. Is your voice. So, I mean, I'm 2018 that you guys keep referring to. I was not in Zimbabwe. And this is going to be my first time voting. So, for me, I'm not normal. Because I'm not before elections so who's never been uh, in the country maybe because normally before elections talk to someone who's saying I'm coming to Zimbabwe for the first time and I've never observed any elections before uh, election the election period Talk to that someone who would list cousin who would normally would tie in the Uganda loses. He understands the money sitting in no catches who would tune you. Can't say we are Baba Umbe Woman. Okay, uh, Minangan Kona 2018, and I was already been old enough to to to, to vote. Um, yes, would he during this time, Gusa say eight, three days or four days or a, a week before. You could even hear the, the music. could tell you this is a campaign. Things are getting intensified. But then, it's just, it's just every day. And even I'm a door to door, I mean, honestly, I just saw one candidate who did it door to door. Just one candidate. But how many candidates do we have in Magwek? This time, we were only one. But then, go previous election, there were so many people. Wa was with Agege. Ngavanta ba kubela ma pepe pa wenga ushula. Ngavanta ba no ka mi anga kupa kuchelu kuti mina wale party. Yeye inkampeni luban luban. You see, so katika sinje kuzulele. But the previous election, imud people. There, there was so much moral about e vote. Immorally, I'm going to be high. I want to be high. But it's just. Yes, Fanani. If you want to attend a Makaya, like I want to mass who's a vote. You want to like want to more parties of a name. Baby Hambi Vaning, the three Javit, the man people will never go to the American, 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 Pull them up as I were to the party that is and I am going to go to the one year called young people are saying our political parties, our candidates are not doing enough to convince them to vote on the 23rd, and it's it is sad because we are getting very very close to the election. So, uh, as in the girls' table, I take it you say you have a lot of things that you are doing, talk shows, information hubs, making sure that you reach out to every young person. Mbone Utambo, which is concerned, is part of our WhatsApp groups and information hubs. So I'm hoping you're not only talking to people who are in urban areas, but you are, you are reaching out even to people who are in marginalized uh, communities. So from your interaction with these young women, do you think are we going to have a great voter turnout amongst young people or what can you say around that? Um, basing on <laughs> uh, their submissions, um, we might have a lot enough, but we are optimistic. Our efforts will bear fruit. Uh, the efforts of other organizations who are also doing in voter education, encouraging people to go out and vote, they will also bear fruit. So I would say we are optimistic and we are not giving up until the value polling station will still be reminding people, guys, let's go and vote.
two days left seven hours to close let's go and and vote and ama all those strategies that i highlighted earlier will be implementing them right up to the day ama elections to ensure ukuthi abantu abatsha they stand up and go and vote to ensure ukuthi even abantu abadala wase ngothi they have been voting ngama experienced voters so there is no need for them to vote this year bazachela abanye ukuthi no everyone should play their part every vote matters every voice is needed on that ballot paper so we'll still be encouraging people ukuthi let's turn up in our numbers let's go and vote let's go and represent ourselves remember elections come only once after five years so the next election will be in 2028 we don't want a situation to be kuzabe yase ekhala sesikhandi line la vote ayo nangu councilla wenu even there's influence akuna kabuyi you know usetsho nezihlalelena lema council chambers ikabuyi i remember lo munye 2018 othwa wabe yase busikhandi vele council chambers ikonga you know so yeah we don't want such situations so we are still encouraging people to let's go and vote omunye umuntu ngathi ngikhulu malayi what before ama elections uma sesi close sikhe sesithola lama lama flask yama hara sithola everything just ama candidates trying to get our vote so ukhulume ngokuthi kulama information hubs lina lani eli part of so i want to understand from you ladies ukuthi kuyini lina eseli kwenzile njengabantu abakhanya ngani thwa you guys have the information about ama electoral processes lokuqakathi kako ukuthi umuntu umhlaka 23 avuka yevota kuyini eseli kwenzile ukuthi lithi labana abanye ama young person abazange abangazange bathole ukuba yingxenye yeze the girls table labo bathole i information labo umhlaka 23 bahambe bevota i just don't want easy from the girls table kuphela but when a wedwa you can mention over the girls table ukuthi have done this under the girls table even outside the girls table because i i guess focus what if the girls table left something out that you feel is important what is it that you are doing ukuthi uthi mina le the girls table sebenza nzima ukuthi bangayekele ukuya vote obe but we are doing what we can kuyini elikwenza to get uh, your peers to go and vote on the 20th okay mina ngathi ukuthi like ikithi etsholotsho yabona vele ikithi ama network isilo idown ukuthi singathi mbeni singangena kubo facebook lani lana nanti i whatsapp yes engcothi ngapha ku the girls table ukuthi say create ama information apps uza sign ngenisa amanye ama friends ethu safa kuma group apps abalopha yapha share khona ama information about ama elections then as for tina ngathi tina into esiyenzayo like nje ukuthi siyahamba e boring yabona ekhaya like siyadlala ama bore kwaphana ama sila bangani bethu sebe sizincourage ana sibathe ukuthi let's go to vote yabo ukuthi la uhambi le kuhambi efa kwaphanye i voice yakho la izwakale kumbeni em14 masim14 siyaqoqwa ngakho share ama information la la bot 14 ngikhulekele ukuthi one day ezimbabwe sifike ku position yokuthi xa sisiya ku command like you are saying sikhulume ngendaba yokuvota singadini ama organizations to push us but kube i conversation esi ikhuluma every day ukuthi guys even if it's four years before the election kube yinto esikhuluma ngayo every day so that when we get to 23 august or 2028 abantu babe bevele bekwazi rather than ukuthi kube yinto ukuthi ikhulunywa six months before voting a month before voting wenza ni providence to get young people to get every registered voter to go and vote on the 20th Okay thank you Vege. Uh for me basically what I'm doing is to do ama articles on elections uh to do ama articles on ama experiences of young women in relation to elections so what I do is after writing those articles and they've been published most of the times I make sure that I tag some of my friends on my articles or I post on my social media um, platforms so that anyone who who is uh, in socials with me they can access that particular information so basically that is what i do the other thing that i do is um we do our um, twitter spaces election twitter spaces that is what we focus on 
Thank you so much, Providence. Sandra, not everyone is on Twitter. Not everyone has access to Facebook. Like you said, Emakayute sometimes in WhatsApp, Ulendao, as in a network, as an organization. Uskonze, we have a banda ungan bakabai five good information hub. Providence, a bangan bakabai ten. That means we've reached out to 17 people. But what else do you do to make sure that you can get maybe abangange nanga kuma information hubs eno ulabanye abathi thina la indla la khona mina kula network uyanithatha isikhathi ukuthi gathesi lina lebeli khulume ngokuthi ngomhlaka abani bani nomination court day mini message ngize ngithole after a week nomination court day isidlulile so what are you doing as an organization to make sure that you do not leave to leave no one and no place behind yini eliwenza to reach out to that person no sema kayothi Okay, uh, so this is where AMA radio shows come in and where there is e-coverage here radio. We have uh, AMA shows where we uh, talk on the different electoral processes, uh, sikutaz abantu, why they should vote, and logoti when are the elections, and we share different information, like for example, in Eskati nomination, we also had a radio show, Konapana, Ikuluma, breaking down, vele ugoti, what is it? Because you would find out some of these terms that we just use loosely, and someone arawas, you talk of it delimitation. But we are being awas. So those are some of the issues that we then go there and break down. Okay, there was a delimitation process. How does it affect me? She highlighted So those are the issues that we try to address. Uguma radios for those who can't access e social media. And then I see me and we also have Ama bulk SMSs. Yes, we know what they are young people who do not have AMA smartphones. And they are young people. Aba shala lapo ogle network eshupayo. For example, echolocho. Gula mawaz. O tingayla ngalichon. Network laya disappear. Iza ziwe egu seni. O places where so melu kati ntabanti. So in, we didn't want to leave anyone outside. So we catered for those ones. By Ugutin, we send them AMA SMSs on a weekly basis, informing them of key issues that are happening on the electoral space. But okay, this week, Gula Log, if you get to a polling station, you are not allowed. Ugutin, Ukali Suku campaigner, Ukogi party regalia, Uhambe, maybe for example, a driver's license. So we are trying to raise AMA. Pay awareness on such issues because imagine we want to ama polling stations in some places especially my cows that told me back action so imagine um say hambe three kilometers four kilometers the cell polling station so if you got jail with ah this keep us a college you can't vote what are the chances of that person going back home i will change up in the pen so we try what in to minimize such incidences because we know what already people are apathetic and so we give out as much information as we can using those bulk sms's and also reminding people what in say vote am 23 so that we don't have a to say twitch am 24 is it to say fungi of what or say velen komen in tampa man or eight says to think it's a lamb your vote we remind them out lama times for to what you know polling stations of long seven you have along seven so that now you find time when a partner over to okay let me just rush out and cast my vote and so those are some of the things that we've been doing even kwapa wabla wayo uh, we realize what it's not only people in rural areas who can't afford smartphones, who can't afford data, but even locally, which is why we have even AMA road shows where we're going around AMA suburbs, sharing information that we feel is critical for people. And we try to get a vote to always start to 23. This is what you need to your register. You need a valid passport or an ID. Otherwise, imagine stress is so cold. So we keep our foot in. He manicure and he fight your way around. Some may decide to no, no, this is all. So I can't be removing all the polo and the polo and and look at the five dollars. So those are some of the issues that we keep raising. We my road shows it. What guys, let's remember. 
ukuthi this is what is required of us when we get to a polling station and this is what is not allowed ku polling station ngeke sifike lapha na sokuselwe abantu thu phambi kwakho sokuqalisa ukufuna ukuba khuthaza ukuthi bevote lu party A or B ungacina usuzithola ungasavota nga because of such behaviors so those are some of the issues that we highlight using all our different platforms and ensuring ukuthi everyone is catered for whether you are available kubo twitter or not o ule smartphone kumbe awula uhlala e town kumbe makhaya we don't want anything to be a barrier uh, on the participation of people in these processes so ngicela ku understand from new providence ukuthi i've seen ku ku twitter kuma social media pages kukhulunywa ngama meet your candidate meet your councillor uh, conversations do young people attend such meetings where we talk when come and meet your your councillors who councillor abenu bali bakhulume everything that they, they are promising ama manifesto abo ukuthi why kumele liba votele do young people go to such meetings Okay, uh mean uh, mostly I follow ama Twitter spaces. Uh but then the number of young people that attend those Twitter spaces you be seeing uh I can say the same people every time. You get into a Twitter space about elections, you see the same people. You get into another Twitter space organized by a different uh, um a different organization. You also say the very same people that you saw from the last um Twitter space that you attended. So I think as young people I don't know maybe the, the is the issue of data or what but young people don't attend these uh electoral processes. I don't know maybe it's to do with the voter apathy or is the lack of resources as as a country or what but uh, young people are not so keen in attending twitter spaces especially twitter spaces young people they might be there on twitter but to to, to do izinto ezibakhayo on twitter or to to attend the, the the electoral processes or the electoral discussions i don't know why we find it so difficult as young people to to just give yourself the, the two hours or the one hour 30 minutes to just listen or, or, or not even participate but listen to the conversations that are there so i think the, the meet your, your candidates um discussions at some point they are not as fruitful as we might wish or they are not as impactful as we might wish because they are happening in a virtual space where someone might be even doing something else that is not even related to whatever discussion that we are having I'm learning a lot of things from you Providence. So what we are out here thinking what to see and our own meet your candidate uh discussion we are doing Twitter spaces hoping uh young people in urban areas are there. But you are saying it's always big. You know attending all these Twitter spaces what about abanye are they learning anything? Sikonze nokukhuluma ngokuthi wena etho lotho ubuke yini what? because of the limitation au seko kule iward okiyo use ukunye kuweyinye iward mfuna ukubuza ukuthi ngendlela obona ngayo abantu abatsha o wonke umuntu nje registered voters etholoto bayakwazi yini lapha abazabe bevotela khona ama polling station abo nje ukuthola ukuthi umuntu maybe last year waye votele asithi kulapha town wavotela enkanyezi primary school next time bese kuthiwa no kumele uye vote se ngendaba yokuthi kubele limitation uzithola ese votela kwesinyisikolo bayakwazi yini abantu khona ukuthi ama polling station abo atyintile njalo bayakwazi yini o sikitikiti message sho ukuthi siyabakhumbuza ukuthi kule ndlela abangacheka ngawe ama polling stations abo Yeah and the Yaman polling station I think by was kwezi kuvotelwa ezikolo eseduzelako. Okay so Sandra I, I've been going through your social media pages as the girls table and I noticed that you were interviewing uh, women candidates to share their manifestos what what are they promising us why should uh, we vote for them on the 23 abanye uthola ukuthi ngama candidates vele abe khona you know as some candidates are much better and why should we vote for them and um, for no understand ukuthi 
do you think these uh, candidates understand what we expect uh, from them, from what you, you, you've gathered? Uh, I'm sure you guys have interacted with candidates as the girls' table. Do they speak to issues that affect young people? Now, we will meet your candidate discussion. Konapo, uko no mundu that speaks to issues that affect young people. Abanyabantu vati kona. Begele ya wazi ule abanyabante suwa vote layo. Ange ni msaka 23 August. Aza ye puma mo 2028 nga kunumanga luto e parliament. Bona as candidates, do they understand their duty or... I think that's the challenge um, that we are facing maybe 40 as a country which might also be contributing to the upper this life which we have voters and we have candidates who really don't have an understanding of what a manifesto is okay so what is it that you are promising the electorate what is it that you are offering what will you do when we have elected you into office what what are issues that you will highlight ema chambers ngalanti ngausuhlanye nama ema councillor selikhuluma on e development of ama communities and then someone responds at um I'll get back to you. Na i party is a release i manifesto. But now this person use kuluma ng manifesto ye party. But now we're asking what on an individual level, who cancel la panti. What is it that you are offering? Because a party, it's now talking about the whole country. Uku tinjeng a party who do A, B, C, C, Z, and all these policies as a letter kum bim seven zay two million ama getzi im kwako you know such issues but so you then start asking yourself what is on my party in as a release a manifesto that is talking about uh, two million jobs is it you in information or counselor as i twala a we lie or who what yaki as a good in general what militant be seem savings those are not a man ama responsibilities are can't so you find what he People really, candidates at times, they really don't understand what is expected of them. You find someone, so again, we town hall meeting. Uto alright, na mpabantu baga watu. Nkuluma labo, tell them why they should vote for you. Then ingi sugu mengiti vote for me kozi ngile mota, ngile enshu. How is that related? to ama issues that affect us how is that related to isuwa echona ikeleza ngom kwa kwa bantu anabe chona besha lele ngegeze ni imota yako ingena ngapi isngeta ngani hanti asila mkwa ko elo kseni ni agula akuka sevi suwa mastenzi and you come and tell us something which is totally irrelevant. So you find what some of the candidates level they are also out of touch. So if the candidates are also out of touch, it then becomes hard for the electorate to then say what they are voting from an informed uh, uh, perspective. And because already there is not much that is being offered on the table. And which is why some then say what ah no no nyezi shalil. Because abantu abakona who are saying what they are interested in representing our views, they are not really in touch uh, with what is happening on the ground. Not that I'm saying what that is an excuse for people not to go out and vote. People still need to go and vote on the 23rd Bege. And they they need to interrogate one now ama lokuzeni na ma candidates akho na wana wasefaki we that uh, managed to pass the nomination stages ukuthi ngobana let's just go through there are whatever key points that they are offering and take it from there analyze what's there on the table and then we vote let's not shy away because we feel Uguti, maybe the people that are there are not the quality that we expect. Thank you so much, Sandra, for saying that I'm a young person who will be voting for the first time. And the lapping shala corner, saying Nandi Vinny Lamans. Isu H Tina and Leo Kulumanga Vele in Shala Life, it do So I'm asking myself, Uguti, yes, it's less than a week before the election, but 
who deserves my vote? No candidate has spoken to issues that affect me as a young person. No candidate has spoken to me as a young person. Oshala enda weni agula manzi ngishala pam go sewage ngilomtu anotolu kutu zalela pam go sewage. Young people are unemployed. The majority of us, sesi ngama vendors, no one has spoken to, to such an issue. Now what was a manifesto now Munti Aguti Ulinde in manifesto a party. Are you saying I should vote for the political party? Because the political party in promise and promise are going away as an individual. Oya Bukhezi Lami Um Tembisan. Because I mean I don't even know my council alive in the lacuna. I don't even know my MP. But Kate singing Lamas, I don't even know who to talk to. You know, so it becomes so difficult to expect a young person to go out there and vote when in in actual fact no one no one thinks about us. But you see Supreme Rose in one of our talk shows, what she thinks MP a few days campaign after It it's really painful. Girls is taller, see as young people, but we are expected to like yes, vote. Like I said, I feel like Sometimes we won't vote the way to. It's us saying no one deserves my vote. No one wants to listen to my grievances, and as a result, I won't take part in anything that you guys are doing because this is we so But we we are coming towards the end of our talk show, and I want to hear from you as young people. Kuluma lo munto mu chuguti yes is yakala as savings. Sikala ngoguti tina ma candidate se wa vote la akotengat. Encourage someone out there who's saying. Minalami Vege Gunzi Muguti Nevota, talk to them, encourage them with Tara twenty three August. No make you in Azibe in the Wonganan. Hamba Uye Vota and make your voice heard. Cause one thing I vote was a Vuela Futu Council and a Lono Koshi way, young army, Uguti Nishala Pam was sewage. So talk to someone, Nose Kaya Etoloch, Umjalo with Gumele Uye Vota. Talk to someone or Lape Blawayo or say town, any young person, any registered voter. Umenze in Tara 23 August. A tati idea. Over to you, young people. Sit a lane, Kuluma Lomunto Sekai. Umte Lugut for getting Tara 23. I will Okay, guys. Okay, young people. It's a few days before elections. No matter what is Nazi seeing IP, I was a reverse. No service delivery in Eco is in the Venice Shala years ago to Agusa Rivesi. Come twenty three Agasti, see a voter guys. Nasu Valele Pandle, Nasu Valele Paradi. After so value polling station, it's fine. But what is important, let's go and vote. We have been preaching, our organizations have been there saying register to vote, but now is the time to go and vote. Let's go out, guys, in, uh, in numbers. Let's go and vote. Eh, ngoba ungaegela ugu vota. Ukansila enalana jengo mbubege chilo. Enalwana ogegela ulale endlini ele suweji, suweji, krosa parad. We still go back because we have a hambi. Abantu wake wabe hambi le wayo mvotela. So lawe go and vote. Ukete lo officer uguti agu represent a parliament. So guys, please, let's go and vote. Powerful as some men see water. Over to you, Skonze. Kuluma Labantu Vejuane, Bahambe Vaevo. Hey guys, guys, it's on John Charles in the Samajuan. Into a Chubujan as a chain of mover, guys. As if we get any, in Saga twenty three. Susu has cheer when I come at tea. The Hambe, Nini says, go up this for Della Corner. I'm a police station in Upper Corner, some at his hands, Hamela, or go up all for Della Corner. The Hambe, Nina, to see a line as you vote. I'm a bit sure as you vote, sit down, listen to the reason, but I sometimes watch and say, Internet's not my journey for sure. Some men say, What that is. Uh, the girls' table. In the Luguti, you seem to have done a lot to get young people to go and register to vote. You seem to have done a lot to, to, to reach out to everyone to go and vote. Because the Kulumenga Matok shows and a lot of things that you are doing to make sure that you reach out to young people. And I'm happy we have someone from Toloto that you work with. That means you you lihamba la lapunga figi kona avan. Talk to a young person. The girls table, Sandra Gama, Ukulu Melo Mundo Mut, Otimina uh uh it decision yala. Guti gang is Tell them why should they go and vote on the twenty third. Encourage them. 
on the 23rd. In message ya melisu gumisa bantu abangafuna ukuhamba bayi vote. When we started e voter registration, it wasn't easy. People were really apathetic. Young women were not really interested. But I was so glad in Tangela Ama statistics to discover Uguti Kuma registered voters got 2023. 53.7% of registered voters are women. So my message is mainly directed to women. What you did well by going to register to vote. Now let's take it a step further. Let's go and vote because electoral process I parallelly were registering to vote. But you also actually need to go and cast your vote. As women, there are so many issues that affect us. The only way some of those issues can be addressed is by electing people to go and represent us, either at parliament or at council level. You've been talking about AMA issues of AMANs. You've been talking about AMA SUA, Who bears the brunt of all that? It is us women. Also, mele sivu ye ngobu sugu susiez kochwe ni siyo kukamanzi utu penduga su mkonu ukeza usie msebe nzini. Imagine in an urban set up, se sivu gela yagu mapool, se skijimisa na la mapaoza, ivi ni tueluchu ala bemfeni, se ases asyumu kuti tuela manzi. Se si busy, si chona stela antwa nuti beslale indoors, they can no longer play outdoors because gu tuela masu ala peslala kona. If that is not reason enough for us to go and vote on the 23rd, let's remember Uguti voting is the basis of democracy. Zimbabwe is a democratic country. By voting, we are exercising our democratic rights. So young people, women, let's stand up on the 23rd. Let's go out there. Let's cast our vote. But before the 23rd, I would like to encourage all of us there was a delimitation process recently. Polling stations, people were moved from AMA polling stations above Jaya Lake. When you dial USTA 265H, Obone Uwati, you have been changed a polling station. I advise you to fa go and check Uwati, the new polling station, Yona Ingap, so that on the day, Aukali Sugula Shegu support and Njube Yonke, Uzam Guti, Nguti Ganti Vele, Iskole Sinje Singap, Itent Elinje Linga Panti. Let's try and know where exactly we are voting, Gusasele Skat, so that on the 23rd, all we are doing, you Vuga, Sikes, and Maman Zekon, Nying Equas, I wish Kumbuza, Lawamans, Ugoti, Hambio, Vote, Auntie. So that is my message to everyone out there. Ugoti, the fashionable thing that you can do is to go and vote. Remember, your vote is your voice, your vote matters. As a young woman, be a girl who votes. Thank you, Vega. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm learning a lot and I hope someone who's going to watch uh, this show will also gain something. Nite, Tina, we are girls who vote. I'm not going to say anything because the points that are valid. I vote. Like I said, get out and vote on the 23rd of August 2023. Make your voice heard. tell your vote is your voice. If the girls say we are really And thank you so much for watching the show until the end. If you you watch this show and you feel there is someone who still needs uh, to be encouraged to go and vote. Share the link with them. Um, tell you, um, gumbe, um, nigga, my number at the girls' table. I have social media pages at the girls' table. I understand why is it important to go out and vote. In Kalang Telaban, to go to Lawe, have a voice. Ube was good, low mundo con, lami nibele voice, uguti abe con. From the girls' table, thank you so much for your support, uh, for listening to our content every time. And don't forget to follow us on our social media pages. Gutita, it's table underscore girls till I'm a Twitter spaces is a service see when I just to find out what was the mood as we are going towards the 2023 harmonized elections go Instagram it's the dot girls table Facebook it's the girls table oh my yes oh yeah go YouTube the girls table talk show will my podcast everything that you want to know about electoral process until next time 
from the girls' table. Mom, 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 Mom,